here. Hey everyone, so today I thought I would do a little bit of vlogging. I'm going to put this on my main channel for a, dif for a difference, for a change. Um, I do have a vlog channel, but it's so hard like switching between two channels all the time and like trying to keep up with two channels. So I thought maybe instead I could just upload the occasional vlog because I don't have as much time as I used to. Um, I'm just getting busier. So just uploading the occasional vlog on my main channel. Let me know what you guys think and I'll try to figure out what I'm going to do. I don't know. Anyway, today I'm just filming. I'm about to film a haul Wee, with this big box of clothing. All of this stuff is from... Where is it from? I can't remember. Oh, it's from French Kiss. You'll see a haul soon. I'm going to do that um, soon. But anyway, yeah. I just thought I would start vlogging a little bit here and there. Um, I just filmed this makeup tutorial which is similar to something I've done in the past except this time I used my Colourpop by Shanexo um, or Shanexo by Colourpop eyeshadows to create it. I'm obsessed with this look. It's like my favourite go-to clubbing look recently. Even though I don't actually go clubbing I just like pretend like I'm going clubbing and then end up sitting at home all night. Don't mind this gigantic mess. I've been filming like a crazy lady and I just, yeah. This happens sometimes. I need to wipe down my bench. I just spilled highlighter all over it before. I used like a loose, this one, this loose highlighter today. Artist Couture and it's in the shade Yas. I love saying that. Anyway, it went all over here so don't mind that. But I used Selfie Deluxe and XO by Colourpop. Should XO eyeshadows. So check them out if you haven't already. Um, they come in a set of four with this one here which is called Rebel. But I did a green look with this shadow already so this time I just stuck to the neutral shades to show you a neutral look. And I'm also using a new camera. I don't know how this is going to go. There's like a screen up here. Look how let go. Actually look here in this part. Not up there. Anyway, this is a Lumix, Panasonic Lumix DC Vario. Uh, I don't know. It says selfie on it. It's supposed to be a good selfie camera, which is funny. Also today, this happened. <sighs> How do you get foundation out of your clothing? Because it just never seems to come out for me. I heard that you can use like shaving cream on it and then um, you let like the shaving cream soak it up and then you wash your clothing afterwards and it comes out. Okay, I feel like this isn't going to work, but I've got some shaving gel here. I feel like this is the wrong stuff. Yeah, this is like not shaving cream. I'm gonna try it anyway because what do I have to lose? My top is gonna be stained anyway. Maybe if I add some water. Yeah, that's not working. Okay. How cute is this dress? Yes. It's got like lace all over the bust. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I just finished filming that clothing haul and now I'm like super sweaty. Every time I do try on hauls I just get like really really hot. Do you guys get that? Like when you go shopping and you just try on heaps of clothes and you're just like... <sighs> so yeah I got into my robe. I think later me and Hamish are going to go to Wellington for a little bit. Secret mission stuff. Don't ask. It's unspeakable at this point. But yeah we might do that. Um, maybe head out for dinner. We'll see how we feel. I think I'm just going to go chill for half an hour because I haven't really chilled all day. I've been filming and editing ever since I woke up. Well, after I showered. So yeah, I'm gonna go chill and then I might do some more editing later unless we're gonna go straight to Wellington, which I won't. I'll do it tomorrow. On my lips, by the way, I have Charlotte Tilbury Lip Pencil. What is this even in? Reshape and Resize Lip Liner. I don't even know if I'm in the frame right now. I don't have the little screen flipped up. And then I have Hourglass Nude Number no. 1, their nude pencil. And then I have Gerard Cosmetic Shimmer of Hope Lip Gloss. I'll put a discount code down below for you guys if you want to check them out. 25% off. I think the code's Shanexo. So, there you go. I feel like I say there you go a lot. <sighs> I just found this photo from last year at BeautyCon. Let me know if you can name everyone in this picture. I will be so impressed. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Can you name everybody? Oh, who's that? I don't know. This was like the coolest day ever though. Beautycon LA last year. Oh, it was so cool. I was going to be going to London Beautycon, but I just have way too much stuff on unfortunately. Oh, maybe next year. We've got mail. I'm not going to show you too close because obviously a dress. Um, but there's just a few here. <laughs> Yay! Kathleen wanted you to have these first because um, that's not expensive. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Her quad looks beautiful. It's like more shimmery than my one. She's got like really nice warm tone colors. I'll show you. So you can see the colors. So now you're just going to have to go and buy mine and hers on the website. <laughs> you doing yoga? Oh, not anymore. Got a love heart. 
What is it? What is it? Oh, it's clothing. Is it clothing? Are you excited? Are you excited? Look, look, loves play suit. Yay. I have to try that on later. Yay. Got some, how do you pronounce this brand? Guerlain. I don't know how to pronounce it. I've always wondered. Um, a couple of their new Jolly Tint, I think these are like the bronzer powders. Yes. There's, no. No biting. No biting. Look at that tail. Such a rat bag. Bobbi Brown Brightening Brick. What shade is this? In pink? Oh no, man, the second. Tom Ford Pussycat Lipstick. This is the Bobbi Brown Brightening Powder. It's so beautiful. And this is Tom Ford Pussycat. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. It's probably like a shade darker than... No, you do not. It's probably a shade darker than what you see here. Oh, that's probably more realistic now. This is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil Free uh photo edition foundation <laughs> long name um i've got the original laura mercier silk cream and i love it so i'm excited to try this out let me know if you want to see like a first impression or something i really think it could be a good one um i do want to do the ysl new foundation versus a first impression that one with the like little dropper i got sent it maybe a week ago or so um i've got quite a lot of first impressions to do so i should probably get on to that i am excited for this one we also have a magical pink box look how pale my fingers are at the moment i've got no fake tan on i haven't seen any swatches on these but i have heard about them what is that oh it's just tissue paper but i hope they're not too like metallic because i don't really like metallic lipstick but i love the regular ones i might swatch one just so we can see how metallic it is let's do this one Okay, so I can see why they call it metallic. It's almost got like a silver kind of throwback to it, but it's nothing crazy. It's definitely a lot better than I thought it would be. It just looks super, super glossy. This has also turned up Complexion Rescue by Bare Minerals. I've heard a lot of good things about this. He looks like he's guarding all of the rubbish. What are you doing? Huh? So, in the monstrous box, we have... Yes! I bought this myself. <laughs> Me and Sally like had this weird day where we just kind of sat on YouTube and got stuck on the wrong side of YouTube. And this came up, it's like a fryer, except you don't use much oil at all. You just like use a little bit of oil instead of like if you're cooking chips in like the, what is it called? Oven. <laughs> Duh. If you cook chips in the oven, we have to kind of spray them all with like quite a bit of oil and like get them crispy and all that kind of thing or like if you deep fry which I don't deep fry because that would just be a disaster for me um but yeah this one is just meant to be a little bit healthier so I thought it'd be cool to try out just for like chips and stuff like that even though I barely ever make them it was definitely an impulse purchase but you guys know how it is let's see how it goes maybe I'll vlog using it for the first time oh my gosh I can't believe I actually bought it it's one of those things like it was such an impulse buy because me and Sally had this like day where we were just like watching all of these videos on YouTube about it that I like bought it and now that it's turned up I'm like why did I buy this hey puppies hi Zeus you need a haircut Mwah. Thank you. So I decided I am going to finish reading a book I am currently reading. I'm like right at the end. I feel like there's probably maybe 10 pages left. But before I do that, I thought I would show you how I edit my Instagram pictures. So this one here I've already cropped. I'm using Widogram. So I just use like crop. I usually use the 3 to 4 or 4 to 6. I don't know. That's just what I like. So I've already done that and then I adjust. I like to adjust the warmth and just bring it down a little bit. I already did that as well, but I forgot to show you. That just changes the white balance of it. I also sometimes like to brighten using the brighten, um, but I don't really need to for this one. So that is that done, and then that gives you like the rectangle picture. And then I'm going to use line camera. The beauty filter usually like smooths your skin. I don't usually use it unless the picture is like really bad quality. Like. Can you see how intense that is? Wait on. Like, it's extreme. Sometimes I will brighten. You can see it looks a lot less intense once you bring that down. But I don't really need to today, so I'm just going to turn that off. And then the smoothen, it kind of just like smooths your skin out. I don't really like that hardcore look. So sometimes I'll just do it a little bit, like on probably maybe 5% or less. And if I go original, you can see the difference. I hope. 
it's very subtle it just kind of smooths out the picture just a little bit and then I like to go down the bottom you can use all these things that like you can do the skincare and get rid of blemishes which I do sometimes where I've got a really ugly pimple that I want to get rid of but otherwise I usually go to FX and then clear and this just sharpens the picture and you'll be able to see the difference like it kind of just brings out the dark colors a little bit better and I feel like it makes my makeup look a little bit more true to color as well so I'm gonna do that and then just kind of play around with it and then you can go Instagram, send it to Instagram, and that is all I do. And then sometimes I'll kind of play with it a bit more in Instagram. I really like these little things you can do, but I don't really need to do anything. Sometimes I sharpen it a little bit more because I really like to find photos. Hey, Tani. <laughs> so that is my pic done. So it is up now. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you totally should because I'm obsessed with it. Shanexo is my username, just the same as my YouTube username. Yeah. So the book I am reading currently is called The Cuckoo's Calling. It is by Robert Galbraith. Is that how you pronounce his name? I have no idea. It's the first um, book of his I've ever read. So yeah, I'm like right at the end, like 97%. So I'm going to finish this off. That book was really good. I got bored while I was reading and started peeling off my eyelash and then I realized what I was doing and I was like, you need to stop. I'm so tired now. Like every time I read, I just get so tired. It's so relaxing. <sighs> Why can't it be like 9 p.m. already? That eyelash though. I should probably go stick that back down. I just got a package. Let's see what's in it. It's from Westermas. Hope you have a lovely Easter. Have lots of chocolate. I hope this isn't chocolate. Okay, I don't think it is. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> it's Moisture Mist Compact Foundation. Is this like their beauty cake or is it different? It must be different. Looks like this, it has the little thingy, and then it's kind of like the beauty cake, but it's not the same. Oh, I have to try this out and see what it's like. Hello, you happy to see me? Hi. Oh, I know something I can talk about. So, at the end of this week, me and Hamish are going to the Mount, so that'll be cool to vlog. I'll definitely vlog for you guys then as well. Um, just because Hamish has been really busy lately, you would have known or noticed if you follow his YouTube channel. He hasn't uploaded in a while. He's just been super, super, super busy. And he's finally got a little bit of time off, so we're going to the Mount just for a couple of days, like two or three days. Um, just to have a little bit of us time and relax a bit and have some fun. I don't know what we're going to do yet. The weather looks like it's going to be crap to be honest, but we'll just go shopping or something. It'll be fine. <laughs> Hi, Lily. I love you. My mirror is incredibly dirty. So, sorry about that. This is my outfit to go to Wellington quickly. I'm just wearing comfy clothing because it is cold. This top was from H&M in Italy. These leggings are just from like Supre. They're just plain leggings with like some ribbing on the knees. And then my bag is at Prada. I got this from Rome. I'm like obsessed with yellow. Oh, I know what I want to show you guys. Wait, if I can find... Oh, there it is. This perfume here is my current favorite. I bought this in Dubai. It is... Um, um, um... It is Valentina. What does that say? Pink. Okay, that makes sense. It smells so good. It's like raspberries and blackberries and vanilla and oh my goodness, you guys. It's like amazing. By the way, this is my Spotify playlist. You can search Lost at Sea and it'll come up. It's by Shannon Harris, aka me. And it's just like a bunch of my favorite songs. Let me just drive through this. Scary. So we made it to Wellington and it is absolutely pissing down with rain. I have no idea if you can even see me right now. We're just trying to find a park for dinner. We're at the Crab Shack for dinner tonight. Hamish has wanted to come here for a while. So hopefully it's good. It's in Wellington and the weather outside is miserable as you can see. What did you get? Um, I got the king I think it was. It's like 800 grams of crab. I'm going to try it. And then we also got hot wings but it's going to be really hot. I hate hot food. <laughs> and I got lamb rock. So hopefully it's good when it comes with like coleslaw and stuff. We got a couple of drinks. I got sangria. It's like pomegranate and cranberry sangria. And Hamish got a mojito. Yep, it's really good. Oh, it's strong, but it's really good. Let me try it. See if you like, see if you like my video, I'll try it. Nah, yours is good. Do you like them better? I like mine better. We, we can share. 
Are these, what are these, like jam jars or something? <laughs> They're mason jars. They're what jars? Mason. What? Mason. Mason? Mason jars. Oh, mason. Oh. <laughs> Did you think I said mason? Do you want me to put it back? No. <laughs> Our hot wings came. Nom 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 nom. How spicy is it? How much do you have for like, wait five seconds? Good. They're really good. Try them. Right. I'm eating, ma'am. <laughs> Look, obviously this is for smashing it. That's probably for like the grooves and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know how to eat it. I don't know what I'm doing. And it's good. Right. Right. got his crab. I got this. Are you nervous? Yeah, I don't really know how to attack it. I got this. Lamb. Is it possible? Yeah. I'm gonna try some. One's that potato as well. So they gave me all these tools, like three different tools. And I was trying to attack it like on the move. You know how you get this? And you throw it in there. And then you like brush or whatever. I was trying to do that. I look like a full way. So I went through all the different tools. And then I found these pair of scissors. Boom. Cut straight up the whole thing. I can't eat anymore. I'm way too full. Hamish is still going. I get very confused with what's edible and what's not. <laughs> Um, nom, 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 nom. So we just got home, cute little zoo as per normal, and rubbish everywhere. And look at him, he's ignoring me. Why is there rubbish everywhere, oi? Louie, what have you done? Um, what have you done? It's all this. And shoes everywhere. Huh? <laughs> Outside. Out. Naughty. <laughs> it's funny though. <laughs> I definitely forgot to put this in the wash, so I should probably go do that. <laughs> I really don't want to go back in the garage because there's like a wetter in there or something. It's like massive sprinting across the floor. Turn on the light. <sighs> I'm so scared. Come cuddle me. Come cuddle. <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Come on. Hop in. Yeah. It's your favorite time of the day. Bedtime. You're cute. Naughty but cute. Hmm. Belly rub. He loves belly rubs. Now we've got to wash my face. What are we going to use today? Some of these. Simple micellar water. Don't mind my extensions down the ground. They were like air drying the other night. Um, we need some split end serum because my hair is a disaster at the moment. And I might do some instant facial. And to cleanse my skin, I'm going to use this. It's Hamish's, but I steal it. Dermal clay cleanser. So I'm going to bed now. Just finished doing all my skincare and... My skin isn't looking at its best at the moment. I've got so many breakouts and like really, I don't know if you can see, like uber dry patches. Like just here, my skin's like peeling from all of the air con and everything from all of the traveling I did. I got back like a week ago. I'm still not recovered. <laughs> Hopefully my skin gets better soon. And I've been a little bit sick in the past week as well, which won't help the situation. So me and Hamish are just going to settle into bed now and we're going to watch Better Call Saul. Do you guys watch it? It's so good. It's like the other version of Breaking Bad, basically, to put it simply. Made by the same people, but it's about that Saul guy, the lawyer. I don't know how to describe it any better than that. It is really, really good though. I don't know what the lighting is like on this camera. Like, I feel like it's washing me out a lot. Whatever. By the way, I always get tons of questions about this robe. It's from Cotton On. It was like $20 on sale. I don't know if they sell them anymore or not, but go check it out. I'm sorry if this vlog was really boring. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Let me know if there's like certain stuff you want to see. Sorry if this was really boring. Um, today was a very boring, typical day in the life of me. Like, you know, filming, editing, etc. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great day or night or morning or afternoon or whatever it is where you live. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. By the way, it didn't work.